Hi, it's Tess, and today's tip is 449, and I don't know how long I'll be on, but we'll give this a whirl. Um, I'm calling it Exit Rich and Emotions and Weight Loss. And the reason is um, I'm going to be at a mastermind soon with Sharon Lecter, which is one of the authors of this book. And what I thought was interesting is I, I want to read the books that are connected to the people that are going to be at the masterminds. And when I purchased this one, my first thought was, oh no, it's about selling your business rich. This really doesn't apply to me. And I started thinking about it and I'm like, well, yeah, selling applies to all of us because we're all sold to every single day. And I think a lot, like, it's been a long time since I talked about this, but I believe a lot of food choices, at least for me, were driven by advertising that I got caught up in the advertising arena and I was influenced by marketing. I'm not going to get mad at marketers. That's my own issue. But I started thinking about it and I'm like, maybe this was a good book to get because if I understand marketing and how they're using emotions to try to get us to do things, that'll be a good way for me to identify when an emotion is mine or if it's being manufactured by environment around me. And I thought it was interesting because there's this passage by Brett Hobel and it says, creating emotional connections. If you don't have an emotional connection to why you are trying to accomplish your goals, the odds are you won't reach them or you will quit trying. And I think many of us do quit trying in our life and we don't have that drive to push forward. And I think a lot of things go into that. I've talked about like for me, a big thing was um, um, getting into like I am affirmations, just uh, uh, change my thoughts, to fill my mind with thoughts that were positive, to meditate, to gratitude journal, to appreciation journal. I wanted thoughts that would make me feel good because too often I fell to the place of feeling bad because I thought it wasn't deserving to feel good. But when you're in that place of feeling good, you make better decisions. And it just kind of made me realize when I was reading this that they were really talking about how do you sell to people? Well, at first I thought it didn't relate to me. And I'm like, well, wait a minute. I'm sold to every day of my life. And I know myself, it's a running joke. I'm not a salesperson, but when I worked in the bookstore, I could sell books if I believed in them. I remember uh, the manager, I came back a year after I stopped moonlighting there because it was a part-time job I did at night. And the, moonlight, the manager called me in the back and she said, I want you to see this. And I said, what? So we went in the back and I used to uh, uh, do children's story hours in the, in the children's area of the bookstore. And she had like 200 of this Corduroy's, Corduroy's Halloween book. And I go, why'd you order so many of those? And she goes, I didn't. Home office sent them to me. And I said, well, why did they send you so many? She said, well, I called them to find out. And it was because you sold that many last year. And I had no idea. But what it was is it was a cute little book. People would come in. I'd read it to them. They'd buy it and they'd take it home with them. So even myself, if I believe in something, I can sell it because I passionately believe in it. And I think that's true of all of us. But the big key is when we're trying to make our lives better and move forward, if we have an obstacle, maybe we need to look around and find out where are our thoughts or what is influencing us to not move forward. And I, I've told this before too, that a couple of days after I had surgery, I was barely able to get a couple ounces of water down and I was watching television and a Burger King commercial came on and I swore I was starving to death. I had to have a Burger King Whopper. It absolutely, I was craving it. That was like my favorite pre-surgical. And no, I have not had one since I had surgery. Um, like Dr. P says, if I'm gonna have a burger, why not have a good, uh, really good quality burger? But I went, the smell still will affect me sometimes. Not so much now, but at first it really bothered me to, to smell Burger King. Well, what ended up happening is I'm sitting there trying to get an ounce of water in and I swear I'm starving to death and that's when it dawned on me. It was head hunger. It was marketing hunger. I was programmed. I jokingly call myself Pablo's dog. And that's where this book kind of comes into play. I'm actually excited to dig into this because this is a, a six part method to sell your business for a huge profit, but we're all sold to every day. Every part of our life has to do with sales in some way. So I'll share what I find in this and how it relates to weight loss because I have to identify where my thoughts are leading me astray where I'm not thinking in a way that allows me to move forward so that I can keep moving forward on this journey. Just a reminder of those, this is who I was six years ago. That was one year after surgery. 
Um, I was at a BMI of 60. I've lost half my body weight. I need to keep engaged in this journey, keep learning. And if it means to learn a little bit about sales, sales, then that's what I'll do. So thank you guys for listening. And I will be in Doc V's group later tonight, but I think I'm going to spend a little bit of time writing my book between now and then. So think about the next time that you're tempted to grab something. Is it a true hunger? Is it a boredom? Is it a marketing ploy that just caught you and reeled you in? Is it that you're not feeling good? Can you do something to give yourself a positive thought? Can you build a puzzle? Can you go for a walk? Can you visit a friend? Can you, uh, they have those little diamondy like puzzles you can build. Can you color? I, I know when I had surgery, they recommended getting an adult coloring book. So find things to distract yourself till you can find out. Are you truly headed to that place where you're hungry? Or is it an emotional reaction to something else? Thank you guys so much. And for those that will be in Zach V's Challenge Group, I'll see you in a couple hours. Thanks. Bye-bye.